Jack, come along. <laughs> Jack has no idea why I'm sitting on the floor, surrounded, oh, go back a bit, surrounded by carrier bags. I've just had my pop weight clothes delivery. I'm in my pyjamas. This is no styly styly. This is what's in my fridge. I feel like there should be a song. What's in my fridge? What's in my fridge? So I have a totally empty fridge. Um, just ran out of food. Couldn't get a delivery slot. Trying to avoid going to shops. Trying to buy organic wherever possible. Trying to buy local. I am organising a local veg box. So I don't think there'll be masses of veg in this or... Um, yeah, it's to last me the week till I can get a veg box. Um, so, since you don't mind me wittering on from home, I thought I'd show you a sort of typical weekly order. And it might, um, well, I don't know what it would do. It would just give you some insight into my eating habits. And what else was I going to say? I'm a lot happier than last week. I don't know why. It's very grey. It's very rainy. Um, it's very cold. I miss the sun because we've had a brilliant week or so since Christmas. Um, but And I woke up at 6.30 a.m. But I'm very jolly. So the fast yesterday, the intermittent fasting I was talking about last week, must have given me a little boost. Oh, I've got my poached salmon mousses that they said they didn't have. How extraordinary. These are what I use on my fast days, if I'm just doing veg soup or brone, brone, bone broth, you can tell I haven't even had my breakfast yet. These are like 200 calories for two and I've checked the ingredients, they're really healthy and I couldn't make them as nice. Fresh anchovies, I, I very rarely get the ones in a jar anymore. These are much better and full of omega-3, if a bit vinegary. It's like Marmite, some people, sorry, that's very rude. Some people, um love them some people hate them i love them i've got very savory taste kefir very 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 important for gut health and gut health microbes i don't think i've called it the right thing but keeping healthy bacteria in your gut is really important at the moment so that's my staple breakfast usually with seeds nuts and berries frozen berries because then they're picked in season um, I'm just going to quickly show you what was left in the fridge. Parmesan always brightens up um, scrambled eggs or something. You can get vegan parmesan as well. And raw kimchi, going back to the healthy microbes. That is really, really, really good for your healthy gut bacteria. And I'm a great fan of proper butter, full fat yogurt, full fat milk full fat um what's this cream um because low fat everything's taken out that does you good so you're much better off and i'm sure you've seen experts experts on tv saying the same thing or in the press uh, less full fat is better than high low fat hope that makes sense oh you might have seen the recipe i always get fresh basil grow it in the summer obviously but that's for my homemade pesto so go back a few vlogs and you'll find it the recipe it's delicious and full of pumpkin seeds so really good for you shouldn't be buying these they're out of season and they're supposed to be ripe and they're not ripe so we're going to stop with the avocado lovely organic oops tomatoes grown in england lemons not grown in england however I have just, I'll show it to you later, I have actually bought a lemon tree to grow in the dining room because it's like a conservatory. Spring onions, not interesting. Courgettes, I've got a recipe coming up for you, I hope. I need to try it first. So if it hasn't appeared, it's because it was disgusting. But one of the um, low calorie days, I only do two a week, has what looks like an absolutely delicious low carb lasagna and that's what the cortex are for so stay tuned organic carrots organic small potatoes oh that's for my bubble to come at the weekend she likes the carbs um yes frozen raspberries always do frozen out of season because these would have been picked in england in the summer 
and all the goodness and nutrients are locked in. Uh, what's this? Oh, celeriac. I can't bear peeling celeriac. The older I get, the worse I get about things like that. So um, I bought this ready done for a big Sunday lunch for my friends. Um, right, more rubbish. This is Jack's food. It's not as low fat as it should be, but he seems very, very fit and I do mix it with low fat kibble, but that's what he lives on. It's really cheap, one pound. That's two or three meals and he's still getting his raw and gnawing and keeping his um, teeth nice and clean. And as you know, apart from the episode, um, he's very, very healthy for 14. By the way, no wee-wee last night, so I think he's getting better. We'll have to wait a few nights because it seems to go and then come back. Go, come back. Um, bone broth. Now, this you can do yourself, but bone broth, sorry vegans, this is not a vegan. Well, you could do a vegetable broth. Um, but for us oldie folks, um, older folks, protein's terribly important. Now, I don't eat, I don't cook meat at home, I never cook meat, I very rarely eat meat, I need to know where it's come from, how it's been looked after, not a big fan of eating animals at all, however I do know with my ex-nutritionist hat on and from my own nutritionist that I see now, um, that a little bit is really important, so she does this and she's, you know, highly, highly trained, better trained than I was, um, I do this occasionally as a fast day, bone broth, which of course you can make yourself. But finding bones from the butcher that, you know, where the cows have been grass fed and free range and looked after properly is really hard. So if in doubt, don't. Um, that's why I buy mine because I can't get bones locally. I'm not allowed to travel anywhere. Hello, Jack. Jack smelt his bones. Is that yours? Is that for you? He's hungry, obviously. You're going to ruin the video now. Dates. I love dates. Now, actually, it's a really good top tip because if you're really, 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 you know, you get that sweet thing at night. I'm not drinking during the week. I'm not eating puddings. I'm being really good so I can get that watch down, which is going already. Um, for health reasons, not vanity. Um, dates are wonderful. Couple of dates at night after supper just gives me that little sugar kick without the unhealthy, um, I was gonna say benefits, without the unhealthy, without, you know what I mean. <laughs> um, eggs, the most, com again, sorry vegans, um, but vegetarians eat these, um, and I do, eggs are, I've always said, do you remember English, English folk, English friends? Do you remember go to work on an egg? It is the most complete protein. And um, because I did a fast day yesterday, that's an 800 calorie low, you know, really hungry in the night. Um, I'm going to have two egg omelette with spinach and a little bit of Parmesan. Right, I'm using gram flour for a recipe next Sunday. And I think, oh, what's in here? Oh, that's about it. Uh, I use coconut drink instead of milk. I don't actually like milk. I loathe milk, fortunately, because I used to love cappuccino. Ugh, thought of it now. Um, it makes me very mucousy, as it does many, many, many people. But if I have um, a muesli type cereal, again, if I'm in a hurry, I need my organic coconut milk and, and I need a treat at the weekends. So that's it, Jack. Come here properly. It's going to knock the camera over. You can't just show them the back of your head. Come on, come here, Jack, look, look. Oh, what's this? He says, oh, oh, he's looking at me like I'm the most suspicious person on the planet. Anyway, onwards and upwards, I hope you enjoyed. Do let me know if you enjoyed that and I will put a recipe on here later, I hope. Oh, sorry, before I go, oh, you can watch me getting up really badly. This is a sign of old age. Apparently, you should be able to get up. I saw this on my programme when you have to test how fit you are. You are supposed to be able to get up. Can't do it. Cannot do it. Without using your hands. So I'm going to get up from here. Ow! 
ow, ow, ow. But that's good to practice every morning. And I do do yoga and Pilates. I'm showing you how empty the fridge is. Look how empty that fridge is. This is a low carb lasagna. So because I don't really, I, I want to do it wheat free. This is wheat free, there's no pasta in it. They recommend mince. This is for a fairly low calorie. I don't know how low it is, but I'm not doing it for a fast day. I'm doing it for a healthy vegan, nearly vegan day. It's not really vegan, is it? Vegetarian, a good vegetarian day. So I'm gonna try it and let you know how it is and then I'll put all the instructions below. Um, but yeah, it seems pretty easy. And instead of mince, I'm using plant mints and I've tried this before. It's made by, who's it made by? Vivara, Vivara. Um, it's absolutely delicious. You can put it in, you know, I've just done it as a, as a quick fry up with tomatoes and peppers and garlic and it's absolutely yummy. So that's the ingredients, chopped tomatoes, uh, spinach, Parmesan cheese. And now I'm going to get chopping an onion, a courgette, garlic. Finely sliced courgette, sliced lengthways into sheets. Right, would you call those sheets? I'd call those sheets. I might have to tell you how it was tomorrow because it's gonna be dark by the time it's cooked. Right, one garlic clove minced. really see can you? I get to get closer. That's the easy way to mince. Sorry, I have absolutely no makeup on as usual. I'm not doing a styly styly. I just put my hair in a scarf to keep it away from food. I don't understand these cookery programs. I'm thinking Nigella and people like that. As se sexy as they look. Why are they allowing their hair to hang all over the food? Call me OCD, but I think that's a little bit unhygienic. You catch me having my hair down while I'm cooking. My hair flies around. Right, one onion. Oh, I always do red onions because they're much healthier. More antioxidants, more cursetin. Q-U-E-R-C-I-T-I-N. I'm just showing off now because I actually could remember it. Um, really important. Anti, I don't know what it's anti, antiviruses, anti, boost your immunity. Anyway, if I can antioxidant, keep you healthy. Much better than white onions. I think this is a Nigella thing. So I say the mint and onion for 10 minutes. Well, as it's plant mint, it won't need sauteing for 10 minutes. I'm now adding a tin of chopped tomatoes, oregano I haven't got. Must put that on the shopping list. Um, oregano, garlic, and the chopped tomatoes. So that's another five, 10 minutes. Bennett's. 50 grams of ricotta cheese. I wish you could see this. I'll show it to you. It's looking delicious, actually. Really yummy. I like to mix some spinach in. So, I'm going to put it all in here. Can you see? I'll show it to you in a minute. That really does look, actually, quite yummy and it really smells yummy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, tastes just like beef. Mm. Amazing! Right, put the um, spinach on the top so we've got our healthy veg. Yum! This definitely needs salt. Only Himalayan in this house, pink. If it's pink or grey, it's not going to hurt you. If it's white, it's shite, put it down. 
I didn't add um, any Worcester sauce. Let's just see how this one tastes. Oh, good. That's perfect, look. So that's like instead of pasta. Um, but if you want pasta, go for it. I've got another one. I'm going to do um, a jackfruit bolognese next time. But I need to try it and not try it while I'm talking to you. So that's it. It is 10 to 15 minutes. Well, I've tied it up for you and it's now getting dark and the battery's about to go. So it's done its over 10 minutes in the oven. Oh my God, it smells gorgeous. Look at that. I'll let you know in my next piece to camera how delicious it was, but I'm actually really looking forward to tucking into this. All I need is a glass of red wine but not during the week, I'm being a good girl. Only Friday, Saturday, Sundays, unless I have the real urge on Thursday night. Right, my lovelies, see you later. Just popping in to say, oh my goodness, that low carb lasagna was really yummy. Can thoroughly recommend it. Uh, that mince was absolutely delicious. It didn't need any more than the ingredients, which I'll put below because you probably fast forwarded through it because it was so boring, plus what's in my fridge. Sorry, I have absolutely nothing else to share with you at the moment. I will do, when I finish my scrapbook, I will do um, a bit about my life because um, there's a lot to share. Uh, so while the weather's awful, I can't get out. I'm not even sure I'll be able to put mindfulness at the end of this um, video, I'll do my best, but literally we have, he's got a name, I can't remember it, but we have Storm so-and-so. Um, all my fences down again. Thankfully, he came today and put them up again, but it is blowing a hooli out there. So I can't go to the beach, it's too dangerous, it's too muddy, too wet. So um, I'm very short of footage, so if I haven't done one this week, I do apologise, but I will do my best. So... So sorry if you've been bored, rigid, but you did say you didn't mind. And I'll love you and leave you. Stay sane, stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and all the rest of it. And I'll see you very soon. It's a beautiful day. Here's your Monday mindfulness. And we're on a new beach in Seaford.